This is Carl Moore talking management for the Globe and Mail. Today I'm speaking to Sir Richard Branson, the CEO of the Virgin Group. I'll be joined on stage this evening by Chris Lannan, who's a MBA student from Halifax, who's a PhD from UBC, and from Barbara Durley, who's from Toronto, undergraduate, who's the president of the McGill Undergraduate Society. So Richard, you spoke about the uh, breadth of, of companies that are within the, the Virgin Group, and my colleague Mike uh, is wondering, when you're evaluating new opportunities to bring them into the Virgin fold, what are you looking for? Well, I think the, uh, this, we, 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 there's no point in us going into something unless we can really shake up an industry, make a, make a major difference, uh, unless it's going to... You know, enhance the Virgin brand. Um, if, if there's any danger of it damaging the brand in any way, even if it's going to make us a lot of money, you know, cigarette companies or something like that, we just wouldn't. We wouldn't do it. Um, and you know, because life's short, you know, we want to. In, you know, we want to enjoy the experience. So, I mean, we're not. You know, I've never. Very rarely have I actually sat down and thought. You know, we. we you know, can we make a lot of money by going into this industry? Um, Almost all our new ventures have come about from, um, I mean, if you go right, right back to the beginning, you know, Vietnam War, you know, let's, you know, let's edit a magazine to try to have young people campaigning to, you know, to stop the war, um, and let's give young people a voice. Uh, the actual business aspect of it, the paying the bills, you know, we had to sort that one out later and hopefully sell enough magazines and, uh, you know, learn about the printing and the paper manufacturing, but that wasn't our principal interest. Um, and almost every venture we've gone into, we, we've seen a gap in the market. I mean, I, you know, you might get frustrated flying on other people's airlines. You know, screw it, let's do it. You know, we'll just start. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll start an airline, and and uh, and then you know we tr we, we we try to you know, uh, make sure we can get the bills paid. Um, and and actually, I think it's a better way of doing it. Um, you know, if you you know if you think how can I make lots of money, uh, you know. Um, you know, let's let's bring the accountants in. We'll work out some business plans. I mean, it's the wrong. It's just the wrong way around. I mean, you get one set of accountants will say, you know, yes, you can make lots of money. Another set of accountants with exactly the same input will say, no, you're going to lose lots of money. It's got to be, you know, from your heart, you know, and and uh, uh, and do something which you know is you're passionate about, which is going to be your hobby, uh, and then it's likely to be successful. So Richard, when you look at hiring and making someone a leader at Virgin, what are you looking for in terms of a leader at the Virgin Group? Uh, well, uh, a company it, 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 it just it consists of one thing, really. I mean, uh, you know, if, if, I, if, if I buy a plane uh, from Boeing, it'll be exactly the same plane that BA will buy, which will be exactly the same plane that, uh, that United will buy, and exactly the same plane that you know, Air Canada would buy. Uh, you know, so what is a company? A company is, is the people that are working inside that plane, the people that are working on the ground. Um, you know, they're, they're the people that, 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 that make up a company. They, they, they either make this company exceptional or, um, or average. Um, and so if we're looking for somebody to run one of our companies, we want to be sure that they are uh, fantastic motivators of people. Uh, that they love people genuinely, uh, that they're looking for the best in people, that they praise people, that they never criticize people, um, that, um, uh, and uh, you know, that they, they treat the junior staff as, as, as importantly as their fellow directors, if not more importantly. Um, and, uh, and I think that's what sets a good company apart from, um, apart from a bad company. Uh, now, you need to give that those people the right tools. You need to make sure that all the little details of the, you know, you're painting a picture. You know, if you're, if you're, if you're setting up an airline, you know, every single little detail of, of needs to be right um, so that those people who are working for that company can be really proud of, proud of that company. Um, but uh, having a leader that, r you know, really inspires those people uh, is the key. So why do people, you're a leader undoubtedly, you have 50,000 people, why do people want to be led by you? Hopefully because I've found, you know, one, one, perhaps one of the things I can do is find, I've found people around me uh, who are the kinds of characters that I've just painted the picture of, I mean, who, um, you know, are, are, uh, are great motivators of people and, um, and the kinds of companies that we're running and the kinds of things we're doing um, people who work for Virgin, uh, 
you know, believe in. I mean, you know, we're in, in every industry that we're in, we are actually uh, doing something for the consumer that they can be proud of. And when they go back, you know, go out into the pub at nights and they're talking about, you know, I work for Virgin, and, you know, people are maybe are slightly jealous about the fact they work for Virgin. So, so um, you know, so, uh, you know, so it's almost a sort of self-perpetuating uh, good problem. <laughs> If you were the dean of a business school, what would you want to see on the curriculum? Yeah, I don't know. I, 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 yeah. uh, <laughs> um, I think as much practical experience as people can have, the better. Um, and, uh, and, and I think you know, people you know, do learn. Um, you know, do, I mean, I'm, anyway, I'm, I'm dyslexic, so I know that I, I learn the most from... Um, from, um, you know, from you know, practical experience. So the more one can actually make a school uh, act like, you know, la la act practically, I think the better. Um, just a funny story of, of being a dyslexic um, and building a group of companies. Um, so uh, age 50, um, we're having a board meeting and, uh, uh, and I said something like, is that good news or bad news? And um, one of the fellow directors said, look, Richard, just come outside a minute. And, uh, and he said, look, I don't think you know the difference between net and gross yet. <laughs> and, and, and I said, well, yeah, I sort of got away with it for the last 40 years. But, <laughs> but, so he said, look, you know, let me, let me share. Look, here's a bit of paper. Um, here's the ocean. <laughs> here's, here's the net in the ocean, the fish are in the net. Uh, that's your profit at the end of the year, the, the, you know, the net that's caught the fish, and the rest is gross, that's, the, that's, that's your turnover. Whew, got it. <laughs> and I, th I thought we were doing a lot better than that. I thought it was the other way around. <laughs> anyway. Um, but, uh, sorry. <laughs> I've been yeah. reading your books, and you talk a lot about fun, and, and I'm just absolutely seduced by the idea of just having more fun. I think I enjoy myself occasionally in class, but you know, in middle age, you have mortgages, you have all these, this is a question from a, a G. Vitt here from Montreal, one of our alumni. And the thought is that fun, it just seems like, you know, we love it, but how do we get more fun? What's your advice for middle age where we just, we gotta work a lot? <laughs> I think again, it, uh, I mean, if, we, if we're talking about, it, it, it does come from the top down, I think that, uh, and if it doesn't come from the top down, you know, pe people from below have got to shake the people at the top. Um, I th I, you know, I think if you, if you go to a party and the person who's hosting the party, uh, if they stand in the corner of the room and they're sipping sherry, um, most likely you're going to have a pretty dull, ni dull night. You're all going to be doing the same thing all night. Uh, if, on the other hand, the host of the party or the, the chairman of the company, you know, is the first in the swimming pool with his clothes on, uh, you're, 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 you're pretty well guaranteed it's going to be a fun, a fun, a fun night. Um, and so I think, you know, I think it's important for leaders to, you know, not worry about being seen to let your hair down, not, be not, not worried about, um, you know, getting out and getting, you know, getting drunk with your staff. Um, and, um, uh, and, uh, and, you know, most likely, you know, if you are going to get, go out with your staff, have a little you know, notebook in your back pocket because they'll tell you lots of things and you'll be, you, you need to sort of scribble them down over a, 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 over a drink because you're never going to remember them the next day. Um, but, um, you know, but, but anyway, that kind of attitude, I think, uh, is important. Um, and I think, you know, companies need to have a lot more flexibility with their people. I mean, the, the um, you know, if somebody's, you know, if somebody's got a wedding, you know, and, and, I, I, and, and virgin companies are, are, are not perfect by any means on this. But, you know, if somebody's got a wedding, for God's sake, let them go to the wedding. Don't make a big deal out of it. If, you know, somebody's died, let them, you know, let them take a few days off. You know, just being, being, being human with people. Um, and uh, if somebody wants to go off around the world for two months, okay, well, maybe on an unpaid basis, let them do it. You know, that, that, that's, <laughs> you know, that, 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 you know that, but that sort of flexibility, I think, is incredibly important because most of our time we spend at work. <laughs>